Hey there guys and welcome to the Geek Group. My name is Chris Bowden and today we're going to talk about neon sign transformers and their use in Tesla coils. So we have a neon sign transformer right here. They're usually referred to as NSTs just because that's easier. Now it's pretty simple. It's a box with two big insulators on the end. These are um, actually bushings. These are the output terminals and then on one end you'll have a bolt sticking out with a couple nuts and washers. That's your ground and you'll have two small bushings and that's your input power. Um, NSTs commonly come with 120 volt primaries, that's the input power. Um, be careful though, sometimes you'll see them with the 277 which can mess you up. So pay attention to that kind of stuff. The numbers you need to know in getting your NST are the primary voltage, the secondary voltage, and the current rating. Primary voltage, you, if you're in the United States, you almost always want 120 volts and it'll be labeled on a sticker right on top of the NST. Secondary voltage, more is better. Um, 15,000 volts or 12,000 volts are usually the best that, that you want to shoot for. They tend to be the big NSTs. Um, the output amperage, bigger numbers are better. Um, try to get a 60 wherever you can find it. It doesn't mean that smaller ones won't work. I mean, people do this with little furnace ignition transformers that are only 10,000 volts at like a fraction of a milliamp. I mean, they're like, I think 23 milliamps is standard for those. So yeah, you can do it, it'll work. But get the biggest you can, it's always more fun. Now, to make sure if it works, there's some basic tests you're gonna wanna do and you're gonna wanna know how an NST works. It's not a typical transformer with just two windings. NSTs actually have three windings because companies are cheap and they're trying to save a buck. And instead of actually making 12,000 volts, they only make six in this case. They, they only make half of what their full nameplate voltage is. Even though you get from here to here 12,000 volts, what you're actually getting is 6,000 volts here to case and 6,000 volts here to case ground. And these two terminals are always out of phase because it's AC. And what they do is they just wind one of these terminals backwards. So if this one spins this way, this one will spin this way. Simple. So here's how you can test your NST and see if it's any good. Get a stick. I use a drumstick because I'm a drummer. And a little short piece of wire and hook it to one of the things. Or you can hook it to case ground. I always do it on one of the hot legs because I live on the edge. Set your stick aside somewhere safe and we'll just, just put it on the damn table. I use a Variac because I'm on television and we're safety conscious. You can use an extension cord and plug it in. Hold this in one hand and make sure not to touch the wire because even though the wire is insulated, you will get bit. Um, Variac is off and life is good. You want to leave a little bit of wire sticking off the end, and that is your probe. So turn your power on, bring your Variac up, and if your NST works, you want to have two different sparks. You want to have one spark to case. Now this tells you that this side is good. You go over to the other terminal, and you'll notice the spark sounds different. Okay, that's a, a, a very wimpy, and see how close I have to get? Okay, that's only a six kilovolt spark. I gotta be really, really close. Over here, I can be twice as far away. I'm, I'm about an inch away. So that tells me that both sides of the transformer work. And that's the easy way to test it. That simple test also works for phasing NSTs. If you take and hook two NSTs together, when you connect them, the way you want to do it is for having multiple NSTs, you don't want to increase the voltage because 12 or 15 kilovolts is plenty. You want more amperage because 60 milliamps isn't a whole lot. So what you do is you connect them together like these two we have sitting here. Wire from here goes to here and the wire from here goes to here and then connect these off to your power. If they're exact duplicate transformers, this is fine. They never are. So what you'll get is, in a perfect world, this connects to here, this connects to here, this to here, and then this to here. You just mirror the connections on the other transformer. You connect everything in parallel. If it doesn't work, and you can test this by doing the, the voltage probe with this, if when these are connected together, you get an arc from here to here, well then they're not in phase. If you get no arc across these two, then they're in phase. If you get no arc across these two, they're in phase. Now they should all arc to ground and they should arc to each other, 
but same to same shouldn't arc. If they do arc, reverse one set of windings, and that'll take this transformer out of phase with this one. And that's how you do it. Now, in the event, and this is the most common failure mode, if you get an NST, like the guy at the neon sign shop gives you an old one, and on one side it won't arc to ground, it usually will arc on the other side. Now what's happened is the car, the tar inside, these are inside, they're completely encased in tar. Some of them are epoxy. It will get what's called a carbon track, which is just a little burn through it from electricity, and that conducts, so you're screwed. Um, you can depot them and recase them and all that jazz, and people do it. It's way more trouble than it's worth unless that's the only transformer that you can get. If you're up for a whole afternoon of really stinky, nasty, hot, burny fire type stuff, go for it. I'll do a video one of these days on how to recase and depot an NST. But for now, that's NST 101. You guys have fun. We'll have more for you later.